Right now at 5, a fire continues to rage at a railroad tie recycling facility on French Island. And candidates get ready for tonight's vice presidential debate following Iran's attack on Israel. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 5. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 5. I'm Ken Kozarowski. And I'm Emily Brown. Fire crews continue to battle a French Island fire that has been raging for 15 hours. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall is there live with the latest. Jeremy. Well, Emily, they've been battling this fire now for nearly 16 hours. They started fighting the fire at 1.30 a.m. this morning. And as you can see, they are still doing it. There's still water being poured there. There's still smoke visible in the air. And part of the reason why it's taken this long, I'm learning, is it has to do with weather condition conditions. Wind has been an issue all throughout the morning and day. But the fire department tells me it's about 50% contained. Omaha Track is a railroad processing plant where railroad tires are recycled. The deputy fire chief says there are no fatalities and they're still investigating the cause. Campbell Fire Department Chief Nate Melby says La Crosse Fire Department and Onalaska Fire Department started helping out earlier and we are learning there is mutual aid from Shelby and La Crescent now. I spoke to one neighbor who lives near the fire. He says he got a call from his son early this morning. When his son told him about the fire, both of them were a little worried. Yeah, my son was worried but with the way the wind was blowing. I'm glad the wind was blowing not towards us. The wind was blowing, you know, this or that way, you know, out of the, you know, not through the blowing right to the, yeah, it, you know, stuff can happen very quick. The department got two excavators to help them spread out the debris to make better contact with the water and suffocate the flames. Now I'm learning guys, this isn't the only fire to have torn through Omaha. They had another fire nine years ago in 2015. Uh, the, Melby from the fire department tells me that the cause of the fire was from a machine. Reporting on French Island, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now. Okay, thank you, Jeremy. Well, the winds definitely picked up behind the front that came through last night. They are starting to decrease now. They were more uh, sustained stronger than they were this morning. Right now, they kind of have tailed off to the 10 to 15 mile per hour range. A lot of the areas outside have been 8 to 10. We'll continue to see that trend decrease throughout the evening hours. Overall, there's this cloud cover is beginning to increase, so you'll see that this evening. Temperatures only got up into about the mid 60s, low 60s in a few spots, so about a 15 degree drop from yesterday, but a little bit closer to where we should be for the first day of October. Still, it felt a little bit chilly compared to the 80s we've had for spring. There's your cold front that has pushed well to the southeast, but we do have cloud cover that's beginning to increase because there's another system well to the north in Canada that's gonna be coming through really tomorrow. But for this evening, Decreasing cloud, uh, decreasing winds, excuse me, and increasing cloud cover with the story getting back to the upper 40s by 10 p.m. A little bit normal to where we should be this time of year. La Crosse getting back to 51. Those winds becoming light and the uh, cloud cover will definitely increase. Now later on to overnight, we're going to see temperatures drop a little bit into the 40s, maybe some pockets of 30s too. But I'll kind of uh, time out that we're going to have the winds turning around to the south, which is going to bring a much warmer air mass in the head for Wednesday, along with some fire weather concerns, too. Mm. All right. Thank you, Craig. Mm -hmm. Well, Israel's military says Iran launched about 180 missiles at the country this morning. Reporters in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem counted dozens of missiles flying above them. Iranian media reports Iran said it targeted Israel in response to the killing of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah and two other leaders. Dozens of missiles were intercepted, but it's unclear just how many. The Israeli military says some missiles made direct impact in central and southern Israel. One U.S. official says the attack was defeated and ineffective. In short, based on what we know at this point, this attack appears to have been defeated and ineffective. This was first and foremost the result of the professionalism of the IDF, but in no small part because of the skilled work of the U.S. military and meticulous joint planning in anticipation of the attack. The attacks reportedly killed one Palestinian, but so far no Israeli deaths have been reported. Tensions between Israel and Iran have ratcheted up significantly in recent weeks as Israel has stepped up its efforts against Hezbollah in Lebanon. 
And at tonight's vice presidential debate, we could get insight on how the two major candidates would address conflict in the Middle East. News 8 Now's Allison Fergit has the breakdown. Allison. Ken and Emily, tonight is the first and only vice presidential debate for this election cycle. And as mentioned, following today's attack on Israel, it's likely that foreign policy will take center stage during the debate. Tonight will be a chance for voters to learn more about the candidates. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz served in U.S. Congress for 12 years, but is relatively unknown to voters outside of Minnesota. And Ohio Republican Senator J.D. Vance was elected to office in 2022. So tonight will be an opportunity for both men to introduce themselves to voters nationwide and outline the policies their administration would advocate for. That debate will air here on CBS. It starts at 8 and will run for 90 minutes. Ken and Emily. Okay, thank you, Allison. And we will have local reaction to the debate during our 10 p.m. show tonight. And former President Donald Trump is also voicing concerns about the Iranian missile strikes today. Trump stopping in the Madison suburb of Wanakee today. This visit, of course, on the heels of his stop Saturday in Prairie du Chien, where he criticized Democrats primarily on immigration. The former president today says he fears the global implications that may follow the attacks in the Middle East. Talking about World War III for a long time, and I don't want to make predictions because the predictions always come true. We're not going to make, but they are very close to global catastrophe. Second gentleman Doug Emhoff also campaigning in Wisconsin today. He is in Milwaukee speaking at a manufacturing business. Well, changing leaves means big bucks in Wisconsin. And Governor Tony Evers is spotlighting Falls tourism boom in Monroe County today. Evers is championing the Wisconsin agricultural tourism fall season, running now through October 31st. His tour stopped at Footjoy Farm and Brewing in Cashton, showcasing how businesses like Footjoy, corn and apple orchards fuel the state's autumn economy. And Evers says the farm to table aspect of the brewery is a great way to bring more people through its doors. When you have that direct contact with uh, the people that grow the food, you know it's good. But it's also a way for, frankly, uh, the farmers to sell their food at, at a better price. Now, Wisconsin is home to nearly 60,000 farms, contributing more than $100 billion to the economy every year. After his stop in Cashton, he continued his tour to Stony Acres Farm in Athens. A heads up to drivers on La Crosse's north side. Both directions of traffic on George Street between Palace and Cunningham Streets will be closed for the next few days. City officials say the closure is for some private utility work. A detour route will be posted, and the work is expected to finish up by Friday. October is Adopt a Shelter Dog. Month. And some adorable faces are ready for a fresh start with a new family. Up next. I've met so many people in western Wisconsin looking for a change. We need fresh ideas to tackle the issues families are facing every day. Inflation, health care costs, tax relief. In November, vote for someone putting in the legwork to find solutions. Vote Ryan Hipsch for assembly. A lot has changed since the overhead door company installed its first door in 1921. One thing that hasn't, our commitment to quality. We set the standard a century ago with the first motorized garage door, and we have not stopped innovating since. Today, you can build your dream door with the DoorView app, and with the OHD Anywhere app, you can control your new door from anywhere. So next time you need a repair or replacement for your garage door, look for the red ribbon and trust 100 years of experience overhead door company. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. Fentanyl is killing over a 1,000 people a year in Wisconsin. New reporting shows that Eric Hubdi is doing business with a bank accused of links to the Mexican drug cartel. Banco Azteca loaded up $26 million in cash and flew it to Eric Hubdi's bank in California. Other U.S. banks have cut ties with this Mexican bank, but Eric Hubdi took their money. That's 26 million more reasons you can't trust Eric Hubdi. This is a hallway. Doesn't evoke much feeling. But to those facing cancer or a complex condition, it feels like relief. Because all the doctors, treatments, and technology you've been fighting to find, they're all right here, under one roof, connected by hallways instead of highways. East Park Medical Center, coming soon. UW Health. Remarkable.
Steve Doyle says, I'm working for you. Unless, of course, you're a senior on fixed income or middle class family. Steve Doyle voted against bipartisan tax relief to help you with rising costs. Steve Doyle, playing political games, not working for us. The news continues on News 8 Now. Expect more. October is Adopt-A-Shelter Dog Month, and the Cooley Region Humane Society is making it easier for her homes to add a new furry family member. The nonprofit is cutting adoption fees in half for dogs six months and older. Approximately 2,000 domestic animals were brought to the Cooley Region Humane Society in 2023. An effort like this one helps control animal overpopulation and spreads awareness about the value a shelter dog can bring to a home. Adopting from a shelter really helps control the, um, the stray population um, and you're getting, you're getting a dog that's already been out in the open. You kind of, the breeders are definitely adding to the problem of overpopulation uh, of the dogs. Now, there are roughly 20 dogs to choose from and we have a link to their faces on our digital platforms. After the 19th annual Steppin' Out in Pink last month, Gunderson Health System is announcing the impressive amount of money raised. More than 4,000 people attended the walk this year, helping raise a grand total of over $440,000, which supports breast cancer patients and research. The amount surpassed last year's earnings by about 40 grand. And if you missed this year's walk, you can still make a donation at steppinoutinpink.org. A lacrosse food bank is hosting its second annual virtual food drive. During the month of October, the Hunger Task Force of Lacrosse will host a drive that allows people to make donations online to put towards certain food items. The task force then buys those items with the funds and distributes them to local pantries. Organizers say this drive helps stock local food shelves that are dangerously low these days due to increased demand. A Jeep battery is sparking some concern. Which models are being recalled due to batteries bursting into flames? Up next. Yeah, we have definitely some warmer, windy conditions for your tomorrow, but we got some fire weather concerns too, given the dry weather. But our temperatures will still remain mild for most of the week. We'll kind of break down what the temperatures look like and if we got any rain in the forecast, that coming up on your first warm weather update after the break. Life's busy. Off is not an option. You need to be on. On time, on the go, on the call, or just ready to play on. Life's waiting. Power on with Batteries Plus. Visit one of over 700 locations today. Their Bidenomics led to the highest inflation in 40 years. Highest gas prices ever. Skyrocketing interest rates. Unaffordable housing. Incomes down. Unemployment rising. And a recession now headed our way. Yet Kamala Harris is clueless. We are very proud of Bidenomics. Bidenomics is working. <laughs> I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Sunken or uneven concrete only worsens with time. Due to changing seasons, stress on the slab, or poorly compacted soil, your sunken concrete won't get better with time, but it will with our modern solutions. Choose American Waterworks. Join us for the Fall Gift and Craft Show at the Onalaska Omni Center. Shop more than 100 of the best local gift and craft vendors on October 12th and 13th. Parking and entry is free, but we're accepting non-perishable food donations. Don't miss the Fall Gift and Craft Show. I have had the privilege of working with an exceptional team to install over 12,000 home improvements for local homeowners in the last 35 years. Now it's time for me to spend a little more time with my bride of over 50 years. Fortunately, I found an experienced remodeling contractor and corporate project manager to lead the board store into the future. And with an outstanding team by my side, I am proud to lead this amazing company my dad has built. And we look forward to continuing to serve you with the great value that is the board store trademark. Arthritis, high blood pressure, breast cancer. Almost everyone has a pre-existing condition and could lose health insurance if Derek Van Orden and Washington Insiders get their way. They take money from big insurance companies, then try to strip coverage for pre-existing conditions. Van Orden and Washington Insiders don't care about you, so if you get sick, you get dropped. Time to drop Derek Van Orden and these Washington Insiders from Congress. I'm Rebecca Cook, and I approve this message. Batteries Plus has the national scale for all your power needs and a dedicated expert for the local support you want. Power on with Batteries Plus Business. 
You're watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Over 150,000 Jeep hybrid models are being recalled over a battery issue that can cause fires. Jeep's parent company Stellantis says the recall includes certain Jeep Wrangler and Grand Cherokee plug-in models from the years 2022 through 24. The defect is caused by malfunctioning batteries that can ignite. Owners have been warned to park outside and to avoid charging their batteries until the issue is resolved. 13 fires have been reported so far. Well, we definitely felt that temp drop today. Oh, yes. I don't know if you felt I it had, uh, taking had, your dogs out for yep. a walk today. I was yeah. wearing shorts, but also had to throw the sweatshirt the on. Sweat. It's that season now, mm -hmm. sweatshirt and shorts weather. It's in between. Right, exactly. <laughs> but will this cool weather last? Let's send it over to Greg for the answers. Unfortunately, we're not going to see much in the way of fall-like temperatures here for the next week and a half. We're going to see some temperatures go up and down a little bit, but still stay really above average too. But we got warm and windy conditions for Wednesday. The 70s are coming back along with some gusty winds. Now the fire concern danger is going to be a little bit elevated tomorrow, especially for the west you go in the afternoon hours when the humidity levels get quite low. We do have less wind, but still mild on Thursday, maybe a degree or two uh, cooler than we saw for Wednesday, but still in the 70s. We're not going to really see much in the way of cooler air behind that. For tomorrow, really, that's the elevated thriller is kind of went there and went gone, but it was kind of pretty much covering the western areas down towards the Interstate 35 Rochester area. There are some fire weather watches west of the area right now. We don't have anything in our area, but I think we will see something potentially tomorrow, given that the conditions are there. We'll just see what it looks like going into the morning hours, but really it's because we got a system that's diving south out of the northwest, so it's going to have a lot of wind with it, not in a way much of moisture with it. We are seeing increasing cloud cover tonight. The cloud cover then will decrease tomorrow, but the winds will keep up throughout the day. So this pattern really is just bringing it. It's still a dry pattern. It's going to continue here for really the next week. There's your high temperatures tomorrow, so maybe about 7 or 8 degrees warmer than we saw today, but warmer and definitely the wind is going to be a factor, especially in the afternoon hours. Some of the warmer spots make it close to 80 tomorrow. We'll see if that happens. Overall, for the wind speeds, Probably at the morning commute, 10 to 15. By noontime, probably in that 15 to 20. And then in the afternoon, could be 20 to 25, depending on where you are. I think as the higher elevations further west in northeast Iowa, is probably the area where we'll see some stronger winds. These are just the wind speeds. The gusts could get over 30 at times in the afternoon hour. So it's going to be blustery, it's going to be windy, and it's going to be warm. The other problem with all this wind, too, is going to be the relative humidity is going to fall pretty far as we get in the, other, in, uh, the afternoon hours. But for morning, we're only in the 50% of relative humidity, but you'll notice as we go throughout the late morning and the early afternoon, it really drops quick. So it's going to be down into the 20 percentile. These ranges combined with the wind does give you that fire weather concern that if a fire did start in these conditions, it could spread quite rapidly. So well, to keep more an eye on that, and the problem is, this goes on beyond this. Now, Thursday, we do have another weak system that will come through. This will provide more cloud covers to go into Thursday night. I don't think this precipitation is going to actually happen. It's going to be too dry. If we do get anything out of it, it will be a sprinkle. But it will give us more clouds going into Thursday night. This front slides south, so we'll see another drop in the temperature, maybe Friday. But once again, we're talking a couple degrees here or there. And you can see that kind of in the eight-day forecast. We kind of go up and down a little bit. Well, notice that we do have an 80 back in the forecast, and that's for Saturday because another system comes through along with the wind, could bump those temperatures near 80, and then we'll kind of fall back to what we should be on Sunday. And the other big story of this whole forecast is dry. Mm -hmm. um, and that could be a bigger concern as we go into the second week of October, given the fire weather conditions that we might have out there. So the best chance of rain could be Saturday night, mainly north, but otherwise, Really, is going to be a mild conditions for all the next couple of weeks. All right. Thanks very much, mm -hmm. Greg. Celebrating a century. How one organization is recognizing former President Jimmy Carter's birthday when we come back. Tomorrow on News 8 Now This Morning, Broadway hits the Midwest. The cabaret show bringing New York to lacrosse. The details when we see you at 5 a.m. Proper installation of your new windows make a difference. The team at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions are factory trained to make sure your windows are installed to last. Call or stop into the showroom for your free estimate. From sunup to sundown, Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning has been servicing our Cooley region for 59 years. Whether you're in La Crosse, on Alaska, West Salem, Holman, or La Crescent, take comfort your heating and cooling needs are met with our trusted staff, longevity, and 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Be ready this fall and call Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning for your furnace cleaning check today. 
Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, your local train dealer. It's hard to stop a train. Blaine's Farm and Fleet's fall jean sale is going on now, and all jeans are on sale. We're so confident we have the right brand, style, and fit for you that we'll give you a free $5 Farm and Fleet gift card for every pair of jeans you buy. Like men's special buy Carhartt jeans, 40% off, just $17.99. $20 off women's Levi's classic bootcut jeans, only $39.99. And men's key work jeans start at only $18.99. Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. It's hard to believe, but it's true. Even the liberal media was shocked Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners and illegal aliens. Every transgender inmate would have access. Kamala's for they, them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Asher Last and Exteriors is committed to craftsmanship, innovation, and outstanding customer service as Western Wisconsin's window and door replacement experts. Our superior quality, energy-saving windows and doors from the trusted brand of Renewal by Anderson are skillfully installed by certified technicians and backed by some of the strongest transferable warranties available. Save up to 22% with zero down and no interest or payments for up to 18 months with Renewal by Anderson Windows and Doors. Brought to you by Asher Lasting Exteriors. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Well, former President Jimmy Carter turns 100 today. And an organization he was very involved with is helping keep him in their hearts. Thousands of volunteers with Habitat for Humanity are building more than 30 homes in St. Paul, Minnesota this week. After leaving the White House, the former president spent decades volunteering with the organization, building an estimated 4,400 homes alongside 160,000 volunteers. Habitat for Humanity CEO says both Carter and his late wife, Rosalind, loved helping others in need. Carter's often told me that building with Habitat is the best way he knows to put his Christian faith into action in a very tangible way, and that he and Mrs. Carter always feel like they got more out of the building experience than anything they could put into it. The project in St. Paul sits on an old golf course. Final plans call for more than 100 new units. Carter's human rights and social welfare campaigns helped him win the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002. All right, big shout out to Carter and uh, Habitat for Humanity. So many local yeah. chapters across this nation, one in La Crosse, of course, and they do great work. A centenarian and a humanitarian. There I think go. everyone can celebrate his birthday with some peanuts today. There you go. He was the peanut farmer president. <laughs> okay, we'll have another look at tonight forecast right after the break. I've met so many people in western Wisconsin looking for a change. We need fresh ideas to tackle the issues families are facing every day. Inflation, health care costs, tax relief. In November, vote for someone putting in the legwork to find solutions. Vote Ryan Hipsch for assembly. I'm Steve from Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions. If you have trouble opening a window or keeping one in place, you may have frame damage, worn materials, or even hidden problems you can't see. You need a trusted window company to evaluate it, check for hidden issues, and possibly replace the window. Our team will complete our Weather Guardian 15-step installation process on every job to ensure your home and family are safe before we leave. Call now for our buy three, get one free special. Choose Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions or something less. Do you need a floor tough enough to withstand your busy family, but still fits in your style and budget? Carpets To Go has what you're looking for. Our Mannington flooring is pet friendly, dent and scratch resistant, waterproof and easy to clean. Mannington Restoration Laminate is also steam mop approved and comes with a 25 year warranty. Mannington Aduramax comes with a lifetime warranty, is designed to dampen sound and comes with microband to help keep your floor 99% cleaner. Stop into Carpets To Go in Onalaska. As the mom of a daughter, I'm livid that boys are now being allowed to compete in girls' sports. It's just wrong, and I blame Tammy Baldwin. She voted to let biological men into women's sports. Worse, Baldwin co-sponsored legislation to force girls to share locker rooms with biological men. Tammy Baldwin is failing to keep our families safe. Tammy Baldwin's extreme values are wrong for Wisconsin. Fix Washington PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising. Quartz takes a different approach to health insurance. 
We know every life well lived is a journey, and we're here to light the way at every step. That's why for 40 years, we've been alongside the doctors and hospitals who know what their communities need, because they're a part of them, because we're a part of them. There's a fire burning in all of us. Let's ignite it together. Quartz, find your spark. Maxwell White, done right. Maxwell White Plumbing proudly announces our first annual food drive in celebration of being in business for 30 years and our commitment to the communities we serve. From October 1st to 31st, we're partnering with the La Crosse Hunger Task Force. Donate while our professionals are at your home, at our West Salem location, or directly to the Hunger Task Force in La Crosse. As a thank you, get $15 off your service and we'll donate an additional $15 on your behalf. Join us in making a difference this October. Steve Doyle says, I'm working for you. Unless, of course, you're a senior on fixed income or middle class family. Steve Doyle voted against bipartisan tax relief to help you with rising costs. Steve Doyle, playing political games, not working for us. All right, tonight we'll have more clouds definitely starting off the night. Temperatures will fall off. They may become more steady or slowly rising towards the morning hour. There could be some 30s out there, but otherwise pretty seasonal conditions. And tomorrow it's really the wind that will pick up. The relative humidity in the afternoon creates some fire weather dangers, and that uh, goes into Wednesday evening. Otherwise, we're going to see mild conditions, and yeah, there's another chance for 80 on Saturday, along with more wind coming too. All right, the summer heat just doesn't yeah, want to doesn't so, want to go away. Not quite. Still hanging around. Yeah. Thanks for joining us at five. We'll see you at six.